Hey guys, welcome back to Condor TV. My name is Mike, and today we're going to be going over the 125 three day assault pack. This pack was designed for a single person to live out of basically for three days, but from personal experience, you can actually get seven to eight days out of it if you pack it correctly. This pack is available in black, tan, red, OD, OD Digital, ATAX AU, ATAX FG, Multicam, and ACU. It has a cubic unit space of 3,038 inches and that's all dispersed over seven different pockets. Starting with the top, there is a carry handle as well as the shoulder straps are padded with the webbing vertically down, one horizontal on the top with the D-rings. Also a strap to go across your chest, better secure it with a removable waistband with buckle. Now the padding on the back of this pack is to provide extra comfort as well as hold your two 3 liter hydration packs that also have holes that go up and out the sides of the main compartment so you can run the hoses over the shoulder straps. Now the main compartment opens up and has two mesh pockets on the front side of it as well as straps to strap in maybe a lap laptop or any other kind of gear you have. The other front pouch opens up and has two radio pouches as well as pen and three different slots for maps and documents. This lower horizontal pouch unzips with two mesh pockets as well. This one divided into three sections, this one with a zipper. It also has two side pockets that open up for general storage space. The front of the pack also has a small slender slim pocket right here for documents or anything else you need to throw in there. And this panel is also loaded with webbing and hook and loop for a name tape or blood type or anything like that or any other modular pouches you want to add, as well as the webbing along the side pockets. The pack has two compression straps on each side of it that help you compact your pack down and reduce your profile in combat environments. I'm Kyle Lamb and I'd like to walk you through a new pack that we're really excited about from 511. We've worked for the last couple years on this pack, it's called the Igniter Series. This Igniter pack is designed to give you a really slim package, a very compressible, super, super clean package. As you can see here, plenty of pockets on the outside. Uh, we've got an outside flap that you can also use to hold your helmet or any other type of gear that you want there. An interesting deal here is this is actually the, one of the prototype packs that I've been running for quite some time. If you look at a lot of this dirt and blood that's on here, I've used this pack for hunting and, and just generally beating it around to make sure that it uh, lives up to our standards. We've had a really good relationship with 511. I help them design and then I get to abuse the product and if it passes my test, I'm basically the Samsonite gorilla, I guess. And uh, if it passes my test, normally it works pretty well for most of you folks out there as well. A couple interesting features I really want to highlight here. First of all, like I said, we do have this outside compression portion. Also, the top flap of this pack opens across the top. So something like this versus just a, uh, a slit opening. We also have access to pockets, internal and external. There's an internal pocket here and another one a little bit farther down. Also on the belt, we've put a Brokos belt type attachment here. This allows you to connect your 511 thumb drive holster or if you decide to you can also attach molly pouches because it's got molly on the belt as well. So this allows me to have my pack with my pistol if I'm hunting or even for a tactical situation you can do that. Really really a great feature. One of the other features that I like about this pack are the shoulder straps. The shoulder straps have a very ingenious buckle that instead of putting a large side release buckle, they put this smaller buckle that if you want to release it, pop it out of place, slide it through, and now you've released your shoulder strap. Very, very nice. The shoulder straps are wide, cushy, and uh, very, very comfortable. I've carried this pack with uh, as much as 50 pounds in it, and it works very well up to that weight. Okay, another feature that I really like is we wanted to be able to, to slide a rifle into this pack. So what we've done is we've taken our tear rifle sleeve that you've all have seen before, We've taken the cup on the bottom, 
I unzip this small zipper here at the bottom of the pack. I pull out the buckle that's in place. It's kind of recessed up in there. I adjust Velcro where I need it. The next thing I do is I loosen up the two compression straps here, and I'll just uh, pull those out a little bit so I've got a little bit of extra space. Now I simply slide my Christensen Arms rifle down through the pack into the uh, tear rifle sleeve cup. Pull this up, make sure if I have a sling or whatever, I can tuck that down in behind my rifle. Then I reattach the compression straps and cinch them down. So it keeps that package nice and tight. And as you can see, that's gonna work very well. Now, if I were to take this pack and flip it around for you to see the front side, you'll be able to see some of the great features. What we have here is aerospacer mesh, sits off your back, it gives your spine a nice place to move. Got the nice mesh here, mesh on the inside of the Broco's belt as well. And you put this pack on. It has a sternum strap as well. Hook up your waistband. You're able to pull the waistband here and it actually works as a pulley system to tighten up the waistband as well. So it's something that I really like. It's something that we really wanted to spec out in this pack. Once I'm in this position, I can simply tighten up my shoulder straps. UAP, Ultimate Assault Pack from Spec Ops Brand. Based on our original THE pack with over 250,000 sold, the UAP is an evolution of that design. But let's stick with what we started out with that made the other pack so popular. First off, the main three pocket design. Two outer pockets and the main compartment. Now let's talk about what we added to improve the design. First things first, we put a padded administrative panel on the back side. But this is more than just an admin panel. You can drop our frame sheet in here easily, which was a complaint previously about our old pack, or you can drop a laptop or anything else in here. Flipping around to the front side, we got rid of our original grid lock and went to our new double down grid lock system. Not only does it have a fuzzy loop face on it for sticking all kinds of insignia, most importantly the US flag, it also has the ability to slap modular pouches on there. The bottom pocket remains largely unchanged, so let's talk about the main compartment. We went from a standard clamshell 
detail design to our new trap door or panel loader design. This allows us to put a completely extra row of our grid lock on the side. So now you have increased modular capacity on the outside, increased internal management. In other words, when you open your pack up, stuff doesn't fall out. So it's an improved design, in and out. Also, we have double wall construction, full high-vis yellow interior, and an improved hydration location and hydration pocket. This particular design here allows you to drop a hydration reservoir in easily, even though the main pocket's loaded. Easy tube routing does not interfere with cargo access, improve hydration in between the outer panel and the inner panel, the UAP. One last thing, full battle buckles all the way around, and we didn't change our original harness, except we added an improved sternum strap. For more modular features, more capacity in terms of modular load carrying, the UAP from Spec Ops brand.